So, went ahead and put my rotor on. Uh, had the caliper on. I noticed that it was wobbling side to side like this. Maybe I can show you. Ingenuity. See, here's my little guide. Right there. Right there. That's touching a little bit. And it opens up way like that. Open. See that wobble in there? So. Turns out that since this, this brake kit isn't for this car, they didn't make one for the Caprice four door. Turns out that the axle flange size here is different from uh, the two doors. So I adapted the caliper bracket, welded it, and bolted it. Now I'm down to the rotors. Took me the longest time to figure it out. Okay, maybe not the longest time, but a while. And I'll show you what I found. And I flipped the rotors around. I noticed that uh, it wasn't coming back, it wasn't seating all the way against the hub here. I have to try pushing it back, but it won't go back. That's it. So I had that much of a gap in there. And I'll show you where it is. Conflict. Is right here, that little bit of edge there. Not very much, but just enough to keep that rotor from going all the way back. Right there. That's just a little bit too big for going through this hole. You can see there's orange paint. Orange paint left over on here from where I was in contact with that and rubbing. So, what I had to do was figure out a way to mill out the hub of this. I'll show you what I did. I made a sanding apparatus out of a cottage cheese or sour cream container. Wrapped some 80 grit around it. Long board sticky paper. Stuck it through the hole. And use this on the other side. So this is what it looks like. Bolt through the cup, some sandpaper wrapped right around there. And I'm pulling up. Take on the inside here. I'm gonna pull off the hub. See what that shows me. See if there's any tight spots on the tape or it's scraped or whatever. Uh, tightened up the lug nuts. Gave them a little tweak with the ratchet there and make sure it was tight as it needs to be to start with. So I'm gonna pull off the hub. See what the tape shows me. If there's no marks, then I know we're good. If there's some torn up tape in there, then I know we got to go a little bit farther. There you go. You see that little black mark on it there. That tells me I'm about, about the thickness of, a, of tape. One thickness of tape. I'm getting that all the way cleared there. One more round of sanding and we'll try it again. So here's what I used for sanding. A couple containers with a bolt through there. Lock washer, a big fat washer there. Washer on the inside. And if you notice, it got really hot. Got distorted from the heat from sanding. Made kind of a, a beveled ring, a dip in it here. 
and uh, I had to go get another container. So flat this container over the other one, give it a little more support, and I got the job done. Crazy though, huh? All right, so now I'm going to try to show you the end result here. Same distance all the way around. Alright. That thing to run straight there now finally. Isn't that nice? Woohoo, success.